Tuko hapa. Baba tuko hapa. Tumeyasikia yale yote umeyasema. We are very happy to hear the history of 60 years since independence. Most of us were not there. Even they were not born, even ourselves. It is good that God has kept you alive to be able to tell us the history of what happened even before independence. This is the right time to listen to Baba. Baba has been in the struggle for many years. He is our editor. He is our people's president. And we must listen to him. Our work right now is to pick from what, what he has left to continue with the determination with the, our effort ahead and join hands to make people proud like the way Baba has made us proud. Uh, kuna shida moja. Tukiangalia, unajua wengine wanasema upande wa Masai. Sisi tuko katika location ambaye sisi watu wengi watatu wa kisimama wanaitu ati wao ni mungiki. Sasa nauliza, vijana hawa wote ambao wamekosa kazi, wakikosa kazi ni shida yao? Ni shida enyu? Mukikosa help ni shida enyu? Sasa kazi yetu ni kuangalia mbele na kusimama imara, kufata amri ya baba na kusimama kabisa. Wakati Musa alifariki, alikuwa anakuwa na miaka mingi sana akafariki lakini Mwenyezi Mungu alitokea Joshua akamwambia be strong and of good courage be strong and of because you are the people who are going to lead the, the nation into the promised land sasa nataka niwaambie mawaidha tumewepewa na baba tumepewa na viongozi wote sasa ni wakati wetu kusaidia hii kazi Paka tufau. May God bless you. Asante sana. May I just uh, thank you Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga. My name is Aroko. You have walked this journey the whole of your life. And we thank you for being there for the nation. What we can assure you is that being the youth we will take up the journey and your ambition, your mission for the country will be met by the people you see here. Thank you very much. Uh, the, the gentleman behind there, please give, it, give the mic to that gentleman. He was the first one to raise his hand. Thank you very much. Uh, Your Excellency, Right Honorable Prime Minister Raila Amoro Odinga, I'm here courtesy of Chairman Maina Jenga. My name is Prophet Paul Mwagi. I'm actually a grandchild of Congo Karuba, not by fixing, but by reality. I was very happy when you mentioned the Kapeguria 6, and uh, Congo Karuba disappeared from this land. Nobody knows his whereabouts. Baba, it, it will be my joy one day to hear that we have discovered where Congo Karuba went at, uh, at your effort. And we shall all celebrate because that is within the historical injustice. The other thing, Baba, I would like to request you is the narrative that has always, always been sung every day about Mau Mau compensation. I don't know who holds the money, where should it be uh, covered, recovered from, UK, CBK, State House. Baba, can you dig for us and give us the information? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, John. Yes. Mwishimu Baba Raila Molo Dinga. As I was seated here and I was listening to what you are saying, I've learned two things. One, you have talked about several leaders who have been in this country. The only thing I've learned about those leaders is that they believed in something. And actually, there were people that could be trusted by the things that were happening in this country. Baba, as you sit there today, they hate you for the things we love you for. The same things they hate you are the same things we love you for. 
that you have been our leader who has been steady first. Baba, as you leave us today, we believe that all leaders who are here, the young people who are here, can you believe in something? Can you drive this country to where Baba and the rest drove this country for us to have it today? That going forward, Baba, we believe that we have a date with the future. The young people of this country, as you talk about 60 years from now, can we be Baba of those years? Baba, me as Mkoya, I'm taking the mandate to say that I'm going to be you, I'm going to copy what you have done in the past, mm -hmm. and we are going to move with young people okay. and other leaders who are here. Our leaders, I urge you, you have listened to Baba. Kenya is aching. Kenyans are suffering. Go to parliament, put this government on check, ensure that Kenyans Children who are supposed to go in school in January, go to school, and the government that is in place today, listen to what Kenyans are going through. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Baba. Thank I'll have one more, then we close this session. Thank you. Okay, we'll yes. move this side. Already, I hope. <coughs> Mweshmiwa Lekenda, yes. please wait, sit down, Kwanza. Okay. The other one, the other gentleman. Mweshmiwa Wangea. Okay, Asadi. Uh, Your Excellency, Honorable Raila Odinga, I'm uh, very impressed by what you have done today, and I hope the youth of Kenya have listened to what you have said. I come from a community called the Masai community. Our people are the ones who are actually forced out of the Lekipa lands, all the way through Nakuru, uh, 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 all the way to uh, uh, Wazingishu. If there is any community that has suffered in this country, it is the Ma community. We are dispossessed of our lands and tried to fight for the land during the Lancaster Conference. We were denied that right. At the moment, and everybody knows, we are still suffering. And had Baba taken the mantle of leadership, this community would have been far far better than the way it is. And so I, all, uh, Kenyan people will ask us, what has Bab given you? Let me tell the Kenyan people, wait not for Baba. We will not have retrieved a very important resource like the Mao Forest. We will not have even been in the map of this country. And Baba, there is something going on, something fishy going on about the Mao Forest. The other day, we saw that Ruto gave out 60,000 hectares of the land, sold them for this carbon credit thing. Without the participation of the community, without the participation of the Kenyan people, the country is being auctioned day and night by the regime. <laughs> and I like, and I think maybe some people know me, some don't. I was a member of parliament for Narok North for two terms. I was contesting for governor of Narok county in the last election. I won by a landslide. And what they did, they gave the purported governor his certificate in Nairobi, the first one ever. So you can imagine the length this government can go to ensure that they actually derail democracy. And I'm talking to the youth of this country, and that's my last point. This is the first century. And it hurts me to see in the, in, when you go through all the platform social media, our children are taught not to think, but they are to insult one another, to insult tribe, to insult everything, while other youth in the whole world are discovering new things. They are making life better. We are being divided into, or we are actually being forced into tribal clan cocoons. Where are we heading, our youth? You are supporting people who start for nothing, Thieves, people who will destroy this country, and not for me and Baba, you are destroying this country. Or it's yourselves, your future, your progeny. And I'm telling you, if you don't turn around and say it's our country, it's not Ruto's country, it's our country, we are going nowhere. So, Baba, thank you so much for this. We are with you, and we'll always be with you. And let me tell the Kenyan people. The time to say this is our country is now. It's not tomorrow. Because by 2027, if things continue the way they are continuing, we'll have no country. We'll have nothing. We'll have nothing. 
Already you have no jobs. Already you have nothing. Even university students are not getting the, the money for their schooling. Where is the money going to? You are destroying education. Baba, when I read what you said the other day, yesterday about the exams, our children have even denied, they are being denied the fruits of their labor, the fruits of their intelligence. They are being robbed of their future. How do you deny the children are marks? They are marks. They work for eight years and you deny them their marks. You go and mark exam in a week because you want to loot, you want to pay yourself. So all I'm saying is that we must stand as a country. We don't look at tribes. We don't look at any other thing, but we look at ourselves as Kenyans. Thank you, Your Excellency. Sunday. You are having a mic, please, one minute. Thank you, the future governor. To His Excellency, my president. My name is called Kombedo Michael. I'm a resident of Kibran Langata Slam. Baba, if you want, Baba, you have mentored us. You are our political father. The people, the leaders that were voted on account of their digital ages, the leaders that were voted on account of what they can do, Baba, you should sit down and these people go in front to work for you. We don't want a situation where these leaders are just following you, but they are doing absolutely nothing at the ground. For instance, Baba, you launched, you launched ODA membership in Station Drive. Baba, most of constitution in this country, most of the wards, most of the counties, these governors, these MPs, these MCS, these senators, and these women reps, they are doing absolutely nothing. Baba, they should work. Baba, sometimes I see you going to Somalia, sometimes part of Somalia. Baba, I see you go to Migori, go to Siaya, go to Mombasa, in the name of Kenyans. Yet the people that you fought for, yet the people that you nominated, yet the people that you got, they gave certificate are doing absolutely nothing, Baba. We the youths, we should work. Baba is an old person. Baba is giving us advices and wisdom. Let's push for these things. Let's go to the streets. Let's not wait for Baba. Baba, to the use of Nairobi, we are going to work from Ugenya, from Nairobi, and other parts of the country, Baba. We need to work as a team. Baba, sit and watch your people, people work for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank One you. last. Uh, you and then the gentleman behind you, then we close. Good afternoon. Baba, good afternoon. You can see the mood of people all over Kenya. Baba, people are crying. My name is Amasi Ambani. I'm a lawyer from Ikolomani. I've been working with Baba. As for now, I'm just from Malaysia. I've come, Baba, but we are even crying. We don't want to stay anymore in Kenya, Baba. Please hear our cry. We are ready now to see. You can see now how everything is corrupt. We are not comfortable. Nobody is crying. Nobody has even 50 shillings amongst us. Why, Baba? Why? Number one, let us change the IBC. Let it go. We can't continue voting for you, Baba. You win and they steal. Let them go. We don't want IBC. What a shit is it? IBC, let it go. Baba, you removed Moi. If you removed Moi by Blonlongo, let us remove Ruto. Who is Ruto? He's killing. How can even God award him? He's a killer. He's somebody who doesn't want people. He's corrupt. Look at, and Baba, let me tell you, it is empathetic. That is Sodom and Gomorrah. You see, I don't want to mention, that is Sodom and, better us even when we are drinking. Them, now they are sleeping with one another, one another. Ask me, Leodium. I'm happy my Nanjenga is here. Baba, when you unite with my Nanjenga, stand up. And, uh, and Rachel, Rachel, stand up. The comrades, stand up. This is Jeshia Baba. I want my Nanjenga to come to Kisumu so that Gashagwa can know we are ready. With my Nanjenga, my Nanjenga ongea kwanza. Comrades, power. Comrades, power. People's power.